going on guys my name is Legion and it is 11.32 so I might sound tired as a fucking pot noodle but uh, yeah anyways I'm trying to make this video at least 3 to 4 minutes long and it's basically how to make a small profit on Football Ultimate Team uh, because there's a lot of people out there who still haven't got the jizz of uh, getting some pennies like a profit and this method is very common and has been uploaded to YouTube many times now the only reason why I'm actually doing this is because a friend of mine who asked me can I uh, can he swap a player I think it's Podolski for uh, my Manchester United winger Nani but uh, unfortunately I had to turn him down because I do have plenty of strikers and Nani is literally a key player for me but uh, I do feel a bit guilty for that because I know I have enough coins to get him again and keep making profit to get him once again, blah blah blah. But uh, eventually I did say to him, you know, I can make a short tutorial on how I get coins and uh, yeah, that's basically how it went. Anyways, moving on. Now the method I use is very basic. It's it's basically like colouring in a book. That's how basic it is. And I will uh, put bullet points in the description for those who have misunderstood me because I might sound like a complete like that, but you know, or you know, but yeah, so the simplest method it is basically, and it's 100% guaranteed you get a little bit of profit starting with shiny gold players. Now, shiny gold players bid a maximum of 600 coins. Now, when I say shiny gold players, I don't mean bid 600 coins for like the likes of Balotelli or Messi because those players you will not get. Bid uh, 600 coins on the players that's not most likely to sell, and that's people like pace of like 10. Well, you know what I mean, like really low pace, very average players. And, uh, you know, bid 600 coins, no more, no less, and once you get them, there you've basically successfully got a bit more coins, whether you put them, in, or, uh, put them up for auction for at least 700 to 800 coins, or quick sell them, which you still make money off. Either way, you've basically made around about 16 coin minimum to whatever you sell them for, but uh, that's excluding EA tax, by the way. Now, it's similar, now, the other one is similar to non shinies but you bid a maximum of 300 coins, but only bid on the players that are rated 80+. plus. Uh, now, when you do get the players, you want to put them up for auction for a maximum of 500 coins by now. And trust me, people still buy, well, people have bought a lot of gold players, non shinies for 500 coins, which I've done many times, and I've made at least 150 to 200 coin profit per card. Now... Excluding tax, I think that's five percent. Uh, you know, imagine selling all those players forty max, and you sold all of them for the price of five hundred coins. So that's about two hundred coin profit times forty, which is about uh, I think it's about about seven to eight thousand, which is a huge profit. Now take off the EA tax, which is five percent, I think. So you know, you're probably making a profit around about uh, seven to seven half thousand, I think. But uh, either way, it's a huge profit. Very nicely done and basically it's one of those methods that you cannot lose basically it's just money 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 but try not to literally accidentally bid an extra O like I made a video back and I bidded like six thousand pound for a 300 pound player I don't know it went all heap shit there but yeah uh, the other methods are 59th minute you can YouTube these by the way bronze uh, method which you buy you know, you buy a few bronze packs for 400 coins and selling the consumables for 200 pound coins each, which makes a little profit around about, I don't know, two, 300 coins maybe. But, um, uh, yeah, that's about it, really, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. But, uh, like I said, I will leave points in the description. I hope you liked the tutorial. Also, don't, there's one other thing as well. Don't, once you get like a certain amount of money, don't keep spending on gold packs. Now, they are addictive, I must admit, they are addictive. You know, just try and get that one special player, or two or three or four. But uh, you rarely get anything in return. You know, as long as you know, but if you do get something in return, then that's good. But uh, try not to waste your money, I could say. Try, you know, try and spend it cleverly. But uh, yeah, that's it, guys. I'm Legion. I hope you enjoyed my uh, short uh, commentary, even though it's gone over four minutes, but my fail. And uh, if it's helped you, then that's great, I guess. But check the description for bullet points and easier for you to understand what I just said. But uh, that's it, guys. I'm tired of shit. I'm just going to face palm my... No, I'm just going to face plant my pillow in three, two, one. Hey, guys, my name's Legion. Thanks for checking out my video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, YouTube, and subscribe. Bye!